Okay, so we are back once again with some brand new Mining Simulator 2 news, as well as some news for the brand new projects and games that Rumble Studios are currently working on in the background. So let's get straight into it. Now just before we do start, this is all brought to my attention by Ivory. So massive thank you to them, very cool YouTubers. So make sure you do go check out their channel down below in the comment section as always. But yeah, now let's get straight into it. And the first message is right here from Isaac. As you can see, this one is basically about MS2 and basically its future. And as you can see, it does say updates on MS2 will be smaller while we work on other projects. But we will continue to update the game, uh, it, well, update it instead of not. So that's a pretty good thing as well for those loyal MS2 players. There will still be updates coming to the game. However, for those who are looking for big updates to come to the game, don't really expect it and we most likely will just be getting things like one egg here and there and um, like you know like the usual updates that we basically had since like christmas and stuff like that there won't really be anything too crazy come to the game anymore there won't be any new features so basically things like the traveling merchant will never be coming to the game it does seem however for those loyal ms2 players there will still be smaller updates coming to the game so do not worry so that's a pretty good thing as well right there and of course we do move on this next person actually asked can you give us a hint on like what the new game is going to be about and as you can see as it did say it's just a secret for now but they are pretty happy with the progress so far which again is pretty good of course as a developer you always need to be very very like you know happy and just confident with the progress and just the overall project as a whole so that's always a really good thing as well um and then moving on as well there's also this one right here um, which is basically like you know about the previous update as you can see right here the mystery egg version 4 which is pretty crazy considering the fact that we've had so many mystery eggs but technically they've not actually been like a version 4 or anything like that so yeah pretty cool to see and then there's also some other things up here as well so this is basically saying right here it's a game designed from the ground up with a lot of ongoing content and rewards without power creep destroying the game so basically what this means right here is that there will be a lot of content going into the game which is always something very important especially for a game like a simulator and things like that a lot of content always really has to get added in pretty much weekly at this point just to keep people interested and having reward systems in there as well is always going to be really good because players always get love getting free stuff um, now i'm not really too sure exactly what he means by power creep destroying the game I um, don't believe that's a person so I'll, the only thing I can really think about is sort of like a power curve where basically you know like the top players are always just finding it really easy to do absolutely everything and then you know like the newer players can't really do much so there's always that really big gap between like you know the top players and the lower players so I'm going to assume there's always going to be something in the game to keep everybody interested and everybody have to like grind for something which is pretty good as well. There's another thing here that says there will be questing and a lot of other content to continually play the game, which is always going to be a good thing. I think really right now the problem with MS2 is the fact that there's not really anything to actually do within the game, apart from a hatch. So of course having things to actually do within the game is always going to be really important and that's the main thing to bring people back to a game. So you know, having things in there like quests and challenges that will actually keep people like needing to play the game i guess you could say it's always going to be really good stuff as well the next one as well is a an extremely extremely important one the game isn't centered around afking what's again that tastes like a good game yeah and he goes on to say there will be ways to afk of course but it won't be a long-term thing and you'll need to grind to get to that point so basically meaning that in the future or like you know once you start kind of like grinding a certain part of the game you will be able to afk some parts of it however it will be a long grind until you can get there and what i'm kind of thinking this will be is similar to like timber champions and things like that where you can afk in an area however you're not really going to get too many like things unless you've actually grinded that specific area so in, in the terms of timber champions um, there is the auto farm feature However, you can't really just keep going to the next area and just like auto farming. You have to actually grind an area to get some coins first and things like that to actually be able to AFK it properly. So hopefully that will be basically what it's going to be about. Unless there is going to be things in the future like, you know, like you need to unlock an auto farm or things like that. Honestly, not too sure. We will have to see how that goes though. But it's a good thing that we will actually have to grind first, which is always really good. Um, this person here also said, um, like basically the way that MS2 was kind of 
made and like how it was kind of always developing and things like that basically forced it into an afk game so isaac did agree with that and of course he has said here true but i've done a lot of pre-planning uh, to stop this from happening basically meaning that this next game is basically planned to not just be a forced afk game which is always really good to have that kind of like you know development plan as well as just a whole plan in general to keep the game away from being one thing and to like you know keep it something that fans actually want is always a really good thing as well and then another person asks here as well about ms2 just saying that it will keep updating but there will be small updates so of course you know again for the loyal fans it's always really good and some more positive things here as well about the new project this game is really well made though with really satisfying effects and gameplay which is always really good as well now of course we don't know what this game is going to be about there's multiple things it could be however i think this really does start to chalk off a couple of things i don't really believe it will be mining simulator 3 because you don't really want to be releasing the same game twice in a row it does usually just bring down the hype quite a lot it won't be bgs 2 either it seems considering the fact that bgs obviously was like the pinnacle of afk hatching so it doesn't really seem like it will be a bgs 2 and hopefully it won't really flop as badly as like you know bubblegum tower defense did either so i'll have to wait and see how this will go but yeah i think really the rest of this is mostly just like a load of waffle about overwatch and stuff like that but yeah basically to kind of like the takeaways from this whole thing is that of course ms2 will still be updating just with small updates and um, now there was a thing that i also did see somewhere um, i'm not too sure if this was for the next update or whether this is just like something that was oh here right here so it does actually see it on the next thing here basically the following update from this mystery egg version 4 will be a new world now whether this will be limited or not i'm not too sure but if it is going to be a new world it basically just means that of course it will be the same thing that we've had before with just a new world small pet egg added here and there and like a new egg and all that kind of stuff so of course kind of keeping on with the small updates but yeah you know that's always really good for the loyal fans who do still like the game and everything like that but in terms of the new game, it really does look positive. Of course, I think really most people right now are actually looking for games to play. AFK games, whilst they are cool, they're not really games when you think about it. You may as well just go play Cookie Clicker or something like that if you want to play an AFK game. So I think really it's important to see that there won't be much AFKing and you really have to actually play the game before you can start to even somewhat AFK, which is really good as well. So yeah, honestly, pretty interesting to see. They had like the whole development plan and everything for this game we will of course have to wait until some sort of new news comes out for this in terms of like leaks and everything like that and what the actual game will be based about but yeah it does look really positive let me know down below what you guys think of the ms2 news as well as the new project news isn't it as well let me know down below but yeah that's it from me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video